is Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about Java structure. And we have seen on to that particular lesson that we discussed four actually structures of Java uh, structure. And on to that, we discussed about comments, we discussed about package statement, we discussed about uh, uh, import statement, we discussed about uh, the interface statement, and finally, we discussed about uh, uh, the class uh, uh, definition. All these were actually optional which uh, a developer can actually uh, write or not write. However, the documentation actually was, at the end of the day, recommended to be written. And finally, we discussed the last thing, which was the main class, uh, uh, the main method class. And onto that particular main method class, it was actually essential and core for Java uh, programming. So today, we are going to start onto a whole new topic Call what is Java syntax and on to that particular journey we are going to define actually what is a syntax and then we are going to see uh, actually what uh, are the rules uh, which are there in that particular syntax and then finally we are going to implement uh, this particular syntax in Eclipse so let us start on to that particular journey and say actually what it is a syntax so Basically, when we're talking about a syntax, here we're talking about a set of rules for defining how a, a, a programmer writes uh, or interprets a code. So they're nothing but the actually set of, of rules. And basically, when you're talking about this particular set of rules, they are uh, actually on three different levels. And these particular levels, they are what you call the word level. So under the word level, it is whereby we are talking about uh, uh, how actually these particular rules determine how characters are formed, how characters uh, uh, are formed uh, into a token. A token, it is actually, uh, they are what you call uh, uh, keywords and variable uh, names. So that is the first uh, level of a syntax. The second level of a syntax is what you call up a phrase. And on to up a phrase, basically here we are talking about to determine how that particular token actually it is made up onto a statement. So uh, basically when you're talking about a phrase, it is how we are writing up a statement. And the third level, basically here we are talking about the context. So here the context uh, uh, syntax is determine how an object or a variable I refer on a particular program. So from here now, let's go to see what we have in store for Java uh, as rules. So let's see the syntax of Java. So there are several of them. We'll discuss up a few. So the first uh, rule or the set of rule for Java, it is actually case sensitive. So Java programming, it is actually case sensitive. And what we mean by case sensitivity, it is when we are going to write up, let's say the word hello, this particular word hello is not equal to this particular word hello. Here we have H as a, a, a uppercase and H as a lowercase. So the compiler uh, will uh, uh, treat these two as very different, although they might have uh, actually the same spelling. So the second part of it, we are saying uh, basically uh, Java actually the class name. When you're talking about the class name, if you want to write up the name of a class, then uh, here we are talking about the first letter. The first letter of that particular uh, class name should be actually in uppercase. So whenever you are writing up uh, let's say you're writing up a class hello should be actually with an uppercase and not in a lowercase. The third part of it we are talking about it is that uh, actually the method name. So the method name should actually uh, at the first letter should be actually opposite and have the lowercase. 
uh, from the class name. So we had seen that in our previous videos that uh, we had uh, the main method and actually uh, the word men it was on the lowercase. So the fourth part of it here we are talking about uh, it is the programming name. So the programming name, the program name or the program name, so the program name should actually equal to the class name. So this particular one uh, should equal actually to the class name. So here what we are, what we are trying to tell you it's very simple. This particular program name should actually be equal uh, to the class name. So whenever you have a class name and a program <coughs> a name will be actually the same. So and then we come up to the fifth part of it. In the fifth part you are saying saving up file. So when we are saving up, uh, uh, when we want to save up a file, uh, this particular file should have the class name so our file should be having up the class name and then should be dot java so it's very essential to understand that this particular class name or this particular class name it is the one which is used to save our file so that is also a very important observation to look at and then we'll have up our number six it is the math method must be there. So you must have what you call up the main method which is very essential and in our case we have seen that the main method it is public static void main and then it takes up an argument of string uh, of data uh, type what you call uh, uh, data I mean of uh, an array data type. Uh, so and then the last part of it which is very important it is that all statement must be terminated with a semicolon. So all statement must finish up with a semicolon. So basically after doing that, let's see uh, a syntax onto that and uh, uh, go to Eclipse and try to explain uh, everything. So we had seen in our previous lesson that the last part, the main method uh, class, it is the one which is actually very important. So let's go there and try to implement a few uh, items here and there. So the first thing it is actually to write up uh, uh, the, the class definition. So here we are starting up with the word public. And then we are having the name class. And then we are having up uh, our name of the class. So this is how programs actually start. So let's see what do these particular items mean. So when you're talking about the word public, this is what you call an access modifier. This is an access modifier. And this access modifier, basically, it gives up a scope of how this particular class will going to be accessed by other classes. And then the word class this is a keyword which defines a class. So all the classes, they have to have this particular keyword in order to declare a class. So they declare a class. And then we have got other word, uh, hello, this is what you call a class name. And according to our rules, the class names must start with an uppercase. So that is actually what you're talking about. And then here we have got the opening curly bracket and this actually it is the start of a class. So let's uh, see that uh, into uh, Eclipse and see what will happen onto it. So when we go to Eclipse basically we are writing up uh, uh, the word public and we have seen that the word public it is an access modifier and then we are writing up the word class. And that particular class defines up a class. And then we have seen already we have saved up our file as hello.java. And we have said the name of the class should be the same name of the file. So here we have to put the word hello. And uh, that will be actually, uh, uh, that will be the name of our class. And then basically 
we are putting up the opening curly bracket. So here we'll have up a opening curly bracket as onto that. And then automatically uh, Eclipse give us the closing curly bracket. So this one tells us the beginning and this one tells us the end of a class. So the second part of it, when you go back, uh, uh, when you go back to it, uh, we are talking about now, we have to define, already we have defined up a class and uh, here, here will be actually the end of that particular class. So this is the end of the class. So after the end of a class, let's go back now and define up our method. So our method is also going to have the word public. Then we'll have uh, what we call up uh, the word static. And then we'll have what we will call the word void. And then we'll have the word main. And inside the main, we'll have some argument. We'll have an argument called string. And then args. And then here, we'll have up actually the beginning of that particular class. So basically here, uh, what we are trying to say it's very simple and very straightforward. It is that the public remains the same. It is an access modifier. Now here there is a word called static. So this particular uh, word called static, again, it is also a keyword. And this particular keyword is a very special keyword which tells up the compiler that a method can be accessed without writing up an object. So it can be accessed without writing up an object. And then here we have got the word uh, void. Void, it is a data type which actually returns uh, nothing. And then here we have got main. So our main, it is the method name. So this is a method name. And actually we have seen method names should start up in a lower case uh, into our syntax rules. And then here, this is what you call the arguments, which they are taken up. Uh, by uh, by the main method. So you have to pass some, some argument of data type string and this is actually now the beginning of what uh, we call up a, a method. So let's go uh, and write down here and see what happens. So when we write it down here, actually now we are writing up the word public and then we're having at the word static void main and then on to main we have got a data type of string and then args and then these are uh, what type of uh, they are what uh, uh, we call arrays and then we've got the beginning and when we enter it gives us automatically the end so it has got the beginning and also it has got the end so inside here We'll watch, we'll have the end of our method. So that will be the end of our method. So basically, that's it at it. And then from there, now we can put up some statement inside the main method. So maybe our statement inside the main method, basically, it will be very simple. So we want to put up a, a statement, let's say system dot out dot print ln and then some argument just argument hello world and then we terminate that particular statement so let's see what they mean each and every one so when we are writing up actually the word system this is actually the name of a utility when you're talking about out, basically out, this is the object within the utility. And then when you're talking about print f, actually this is a method to print onto a console. And here we have got our argument, which are passed of data type. They have to be in quotes of data type uh, string. And here basically we are having up a statement which must end with a 
semicolon as onto our rules of syntax. So let us put up uh, the, that particular statement inside here. So here basically I'll have my system dot out dot print ln and then I'll have my argument inside here and this argument of mine I just say hello world or oh, basically yes just a hello world and then I terminate so basically this is a full program when I run it uh, here in my console I should get up the word hello world so let me actually run that particular program and you have seen here it has given me actually the word hello world so this is basically the demonstration of our java syntax and comes out to the end of this particular session however don't forget uh, uh, to actually subscribe and uh, uh, watch for our next video which is going to be java comments and on that particular note i say bye for now thank you mm -hmm.